Yeah, there is Leon. Leon. He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. There's a man with a gun. It's absolute panic. Absolute panic here in the basement of Dallas Police Headquarters. Detectives have their guns drawn. Oswald has been shot. There is no question about it. Oswald has been shot. Pandemonium has broken loose here in the basement of Dallas Police Headquarters. Is now, whether the bullet literally hit Oswald or not, we are not sh absolutely positive. But there has been a gunshot. Oswald reached for his stomach, doubled up. It'll be impossible to determine whether he was hit or not. Did you see whether or not he was hit? He was hit, he wasn't he? He grabbed himself on the side and uh, fell to the ground. That was my For understanding. We were, what, four feet away from him? I was five him. feet in front of him shot when, when he was shot. What is your name? Frank Johnson. And you're with <coughs> UPI. He did grab his stomach. I saw him yes, grab he did. his stomach. Right from the side. Lee Oswald obviously has been shot. The witnesses around us here seem to confirm that it happened so fast and with such suddenness that you can understand it is virtually impossible to determine the direction from which the bullet came, although uh, uh, police obviously uh, in a rather uh, excited state are attempting to determine where the shot came from. Captain, Captain, Captain. Well, now, did tell me your name. Yeah, this is I'm Jeff Edwards from uh, KHJ Radio in Los Angeles. Uh, how did you see it, Jeff? I was standing over towards the uh, towards the left. Oswald came out. He had the same look on his face that he always does or has. Uh, suddenly, uh, what sounded to... like a loud firecracker rang out. No, he grabbed the... his side the... and he said, "Ow!" Yeah, and and fell to the ground. Fell to the ground. And I saw the flash right on his black sweater. The, the, the flash. Oh yeah. Uh, the man is uh, had a hat, a dark uh, dark hat, a brown suit. He was stocky and strong. Came to him and uh, he put the gun right there. I saw the flash over the black sweater. Yeah, and uh, Where the, the man, man stood like. Where did you oh, he was right here. What did you right the here? man was right here. You may have, you probably had it on your TV camera. No, I saw a man there. Uh, I Where thought was he was one of the detectives. Well, right he was here? a stocky guy, well dressed, with a hat. He had a hat. Where, where, where did he go? Brown hat. I don't know. If, I think his coat was brown and his uh, hat was where black. Where did he go? Here. Well, he was here. He just shot there. He just put the gun there. I saw the flash on the black sweater. Oh yeah, right in the back, and the guy. Oh, wait, did you see a gun? Range. Yeah, yeah. right here. I mean, the, I saw the flash on the black sweater. Yeah, that's what I remember. Yeah. The flash. The, the, the both were crouching. No, I saw him there. He was in the group of men right here. Uh, I thought he was one of the detectives. You know, he had a hat uh, and uh, stuck. He was well dressed. That's what I remember. Had you seen him before? Had you seen him before? I think he had his hat. There were, there were none of us in this uh, Maybe area. he flew off, I don't know, because I look at the flash, there were that's no all. There no reporters in this area. What? No. Well, the trouble is I got to start and I can't show it. All right, now that's the situation here at Dallas Police Headquarters in the basement. We're in this story which has been so unreal from the very beginning. As Lee Oswald, 24 years old, was attempting to move through a crowd to the armored car where he was to be transferred to the Dallas County Jail. As Oswald came out. He was asked, did you uh, shoot the president or something along those lines? And at that hour, at that moment, at that instant, sometime about 11.15 in Dallas, someone walked up to Oswald at point-blank range, fired into his stomach. An ambulance now is coming here. Uh, this will be the ambulance to take Lee Oswald to wherever he will receive medical treatment. It is almost unbelievable. It's almost unbelievable. This is the uh, back end of the end. If you can get back further. If you can get back further. Do you have, do you, as far as I know, no. Do you have the man who fired? We have a man, yes. I didn't hear you. 
The back of the ambulance has been opened. Police and detectives are now standing cordoned off. Here comes a squad car driving in from the uh, north side of the Dallas police uh, basement. Yes, you have one man, do you not, yes. Captain? Yes, I didn't see it, so we've got the man I think did it. Here he comes. Here's Oswald again. He is now lying very pale on the stretcher. He's being put into the ambulance head first. There's a group of detectives around the rear end of the ambulance. Now they have the problem that the ambulance is blocked by the armored car out on Commerce Street. The armored car, which was to take... Uh, Lee Oswald to Dallas County Jail now is blocking the exit of the ambulance, which is to take him to a hospital. Captain, where will he be taken? Captain, where will he be taken? I'm assuming Parkland Hospital. Parkland Hospital, the irony of ironies, the place where President John F. Kennedy died. The armored car now has been cleared out of the entranceway. The ambulance is leaving Dallas Police Headquarters. Dallas police say they do have a man in custody. They believe he is the man who walked up to Lee Oswald at point-blank range and fired a revolver into his stomach. Oswald grabbed at his midsection, fell to the floor. Now you can see the pandemonium that once again has broken loose. We got a man that I believe, I didn't see it. I think it's the man. You got, you got him? What's he look like? Uh, I can't give you a description now. He is, is, he is, he is known locally. He's known, He's known locally. locally? What's his name? That was a captain of the Dallas police saying the man that they are holding is known locally, a man wearing a black hat. Is he hurt at all? Has someone else uh, been wounded, do you know? What do you look like? Do you see him, Captain? Captain, what is it? He's no one welcome. They have his gun in hand. Uh, okay, sir. Chief Stevenson. Chief Stevenson, what can you tell us? This is live. I can't tell you anything as yet. You were present here, I believe, when it occurred. Too close. Yes. I have no further information other than that the man is in custody that did the shooting, and we are starting our work on this angle, of course. Can you tell us the nature of the wound that Oswald received? I cannot. I was several feet removed when it happened. I don't know where he was hit as yet. He is en route to the hospital. Did you see the man pulling a gun? No, sir, I did not. let us out of here? They won't let us out. I'm telling you, you said to let us out, and they won't let us out. I will see about that. Just I'm sorry. Uh, Chief, would you tell us as nearly as you can the, the sequence of events as it happened? Oswald was being brought out. Yes. If you would excuse me a minute. Let me clean this out. I'll be glad to talk with you as right, soon Chief. as I can get to you. Appreciate that. You can well understand that the situation now is this. One, one man is in custody. Oswald has been wounded is, and is en route to Parkland Hospital where President Kennedy died. As you can well imagine, the events that have happened here in front of our cameras, and I'm sure some of you have seen them and still do not believe them. Could you tell me, officer, uh, you're a detective. Are you a detective with Dallas Yes, I am. You were standing right there, weren't you? I was sir? trying to get the press out of the way so we could get to the car. That's the reason I couldn't see what took place. Now the matter of pulling together eyewitnesses and people, those of us who were literally here and watching, are not sure of what we saw, except we do know this, that Lee Oswald has been taken to Parkland Hospital in an ambulance. The ambulance was delayed because of the armored car. The armored car which was to have taken him to Dallas County Jail. Police tell us that they have uh, one man in custody, a man who is known locally, and will try to pick up some of this conversation. That first thing, one of the adults may come and back up here. Just you want them to come on. Oh, well, McGee's got him over there. 
camera because I helped uh, help hold that camera as he started off. It went into the crowd over there. The camera never was hooked up. And this man came from behind the, behind this camera or from this corner and just dove out of the out of the crowd. He came behind that car, that green car yeah. there. He jumped up over the rail. Yeah. Right yeah. He I saw that gun when he hit it. All right, information uh, each of you, please. Lieutenant Swain, get with him to, to let him talk to him up there. Chief or Captain Fritz. Get some men. Captain Fritz going far. There you have heard some of the reports of Dallas detectives as to how this man happened to get at Oswald. He was apparently sitting in a car directly behind our cameras, leaped out of the car over a rail at Oswald, pointing a revolver at his stomach, pulled the trigger, Oswald grabbed his stomach, slumped over, slumped over to the ground, saying what sounded like a rather loud moan. Is he in this building, Oswald? Yeah, gone to the hospital. And what about the man who has been caught? Is he in he this is building? He custody here. I see. Chief, can you tell us what you know now about the man that you do have in custody? Personally, I don't know anything about him. I merely know his name, and that's all I know. What can you tell us about the nature of Oswald's wounds? I don't even know that. I don't know where the man was struck. I won't know until we hear from the hospital. All right, Captain, can you give us any... Now on. Uh, no further report right at this time. This is live from the basement of Dallas Police Headquarters. Absolutely unbelievable, incredible. Lee Oswald, the man charged with assassinating the President of the United States himself before our very eyes, was shot by a man who leaped out of that green car down there, apparently, over the rail into the crowd, through the reporters, directly at Oswald, who was standing just about right here where I am. It happened so fast, no one really knows what happened, but here we have a further report. Uh, uh, now then, this car Pat, is the man upstairs in the cell. As far as I know, he's either in uh, the jail or at Captain Fritz's office. Did he I imagine he'd probably uh, be in jail. Do you know this subject? you know him? Have you seen him before? Yes, I do. Is he from Dallas? Yes. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I, I know you can't that. release the name now, but uh, do you know what kind of business he happens to be in? Uh, Bob, I, I wouldn't want to say. Right. Uh, okay. Did he have to be disarmed or did he give up? We had to disarm him. Did he struggle? Uh, uh, as much as he could, yes. But did he, he was, say anything? The struggle. Uh, he was mumbling. I couldn't hear. I couldn't understand what he did. So. Uh, did Oswald say anything? No, Oswald didn't. What? No. Yes, Do you know what kind of pistol he was no, carrying? No, Bob, I never saw the pistol itself. Some other, I think, Officer Grace had got, got the gun immediately after he fired the shot. Officer he was in his civilian clothes? Yes. Did he try to get away? No, he was immediately subdued by the officer. No, he wouldn't have had a chance to get no. away. How many what shots were fired? Just one, one shot. Did you see... I didn't pay too much attention. What, did, what, did you know the man? Did you see the man before? Yes, he did. Sir, uh, did yes. You, uh, you, you, you saw his face? Yes, sir. And you knew him? Yes, sir. Uh, Pat, he is a resident of Dallas. Is he not? Yes, sir. And that's all I want to say about the man of science. This is Officer uh, P.T. Dean of the Dallas Police Department. Well, I couldn't tell. I, I couldn't see Oswald when the shot was fired. I immediately turned. I was waiting at the armored car to ride with the suspect to the county jail. As soon as the shot was fired, I came immediately down the ramp to assist the officers. Officer, do you know this man personally that's in custody? Yes, yes. In the line of duty or in, in another way? Uh, sir, I wouldn't want to say. But he is known to you as a police officer. Not a, as a police officer. That is, you as a police I officer see. know him, is that correct? Yes. Was he connected in any way with this? I, would, I don't know. Had you seen him here in the building before the shot was fired? No, sir. Uh, Pat, could you outline briefly some of the security precautions that were taken uh, immediately before this happened? Yes, sir. We thoroughly searched the basement. We had searched even the cars up on top of the... Uh, pipes and things that a person might conceal himself. There was about 15 to 20 men that had searched this place prior to uh, 30 minutes. Uh, in fact, searched it twice, about an hour before and then 30 minutes before. How many officers did you have outside approximately, would you say? About 20. 
uh, uniformed the officers, officers outside yeah. the building, and they are armed with riot guns, pistols, and all that. Kind of yes, sir. Uh, some few of them are. Have you, you noticed this ready? guy before in here? No, sir. You hadn't today, been? no, sir. Not today. Is there anything else that you possibly might tell us about him, Pat? I know that uh, at the present time you're you're bound and can't say very much, but uh, you have said that he is from Dallas and that you do know this this uh, stuff. You can have seen him before. Yes, sir, I do know. Uh, he. Uh, is there anything that you can say about him further than the fact that he is a resident of Dallas, the man who, who shot Oswald, uh, to uh, shed some more light on Well, Bob, that, that would be all I'd want to say, really. Uh, I'm sure that's, that's the case. Now, at present, uh, what in the way of release is going on inside? How soon do you think we're going to be able to know who this man is? Well, um, the information would have to come from Captain Fritz's office. Now, Captain Fritz uh, came out of this door just a, a few steps ahead of Oswald. Uh, do you know where he is at present? No, sir, I don't. Right. Can, you give, can you give us some indication of why these security precautions had been taken? Were there some Merely threatening the phone calls during the night that this might, there might be some effort to take I Oswald's couldn't answer life? that. I, I don't know. And you heard this that? Is, this is merely a precautionary measure. The case as it is, it was felt that there had to be a security farm. There were extreme precautions regarding the armored car. Yes, sir. Now, how, officer, would it be possible for someone to have slipped in into this car over here with the elaborate security precautions that had Sir, been taken? I, I, I can't answer. I have, I, like, I do know the man. I would have known him on site. If I'd seen him and noticed him, I would have ejected him. Uh, the, that's merely because, not because of him, him himself, but there was no one that was supposed to be in here but the press and the officers. Now, why is it that... What is it that you know about this man? Uh, sir, I wouldn't want to elaborate on uh, my knowing. Uh, Patrolman. This, then, is the situation at this hour as we can reconstruct, reconstruct it. Just about 20 minutes ago, standing right here, Lee Oswald was shot by a man known to at least one Dallas police officer, P.T. Dean. The man apparently, according to the accounts of other detectives who were here, came out of a green vehicle parked beyond our camera range in the uh, police garage here at Dallas Police Headquarters, leaped over a railing through the reporters who had been cordoned off on that side. And again, according to people who were closer than I, the man came through the group of reporters to Oswald, who was... Who was being transported just about in this position and just at that moment the the gunshot was fired and it sounded as if a, a an automobile had backfired or someone had thrown a uh, cherry bomb or a firecracker or something of that sort Oswald clasped his stomach like this and moaned and then of course there was absolute pandemonium as detectives and police officers moved in to, to take into custody this man so far unidentified, so far apparently being questioned upstairs by uh, Dallas homicide captain Will Fritz, who incidentally is the man who has been in charge of the interrogation of Oswald as the accused killer of President Kennedy. Now, I beg your pardon? There has been a police officer who was also shot named Jack Loby. Uh, now, I only heard one gunshot. And uh, apparently would have been uh, some other kind of wound. That is to say, he apparently was winged by the same bullet. The man who shot him was Jack Loby. Yes. I'm now, where do we have that information from? Where did that information come from? Jack, Fred, Fred. Are we we're still on? Yes, we're still on. We're still on the still air. On so, therefore, we have to okay, regroup uh, and collect whatever information we can. Now, just to clarify that, we have a man identified as Jack Loby. This is Tom Pettit, NBC News, reporting from 
Dallas uh, Police Headquarters, I just want to add one thing before we leave you, and that is that to clarify, the man named Jack Loby is identified now as as the the assailant. Now this is unclear. We'll try to find out the facts, but this we know: Oswald is wounded and has been taken to the hospital. This is Tom Pettit, NBC News, reporting from the basement of the Dallas Police Department.